Welcome back to Carol's Vegan Kitchen. I'm Carol. This is my kitchen. Um, today we're going to be making um, a green smoothie. In segment one, I showed you how to make your own homemade almond milk, which I have right here. And we're going to be now using it to make a green smoothie. Now this recipe is my own recipe. Uh, different things that I've read about. I've been drinking these green smoothies for about eight years. I usually have one every day, mostly for lunch, sometimes for breakfast, and very rarely for dinner. The days I have them for dinner are the days when I feel like I have not been eating well and I have to finish the day out with something really healthy. This is, these are our greens. This is a combination of spinach, kale, and Swiss chard, but you could use any combination of greens you like. This is almond pulp from the almond milk that we made in the last segment of this show. This is hemp seeds uh, from the hemp plant. Uh, they are very, very high in protein. They have 9 or 10 grams of protein per tablespoon. This is maca from the maca root from South America. It's a healing powder, a healing food, cure-all kind of thing. I have a little hunk of ginger, fresh. I have one dried date fig. I have a slice of lemon, fresh lemon, one banana, and these are goji berries, which are also kind of a superfood like the maca antioxidant, etc. And of course the almond milk. So let's get started. I will get my blender container. I will pour one and a half cups of almond milk into the blender. There's one. Now, if you want a thicker smoothie, you would use less almond milk. If you want a thinner smoothie, you use more almond milk. It's totally up to your own personal taste. So that's the almond milk. Here I have two handfuls of mixed greens. It's kale, Swiss chard, and spinach. But you could use any combination of greens. You could use just spinach or just kale, whatever you like. But there's two handfuls. Now I'm going to pour that into the blender jar. They're sticking. So there, that's that. Here is some almond pulp that was left over from making the almond milk. So I just take like a, about two tablespoons and I throw it in there. Here is a very important part of the recipe. It's hemp seeds. They are extremely high in protein. It's about 10 grams per tablespoon. I'm going to put in about three tablespoons. Next is some maca powder, M-A-C-A. -A. It's from South America. It grows as a root and it's a very healthful antioxidant superfood. Of course, a banana. The banana makes it very creamy. I like a slice of fresh lemon. I like a, um, this is a dried fig. It doesn't look very dried, but it's considered a dried fig. A hunk, little hunk of fresh ginger. And these are goji berries, G-O-J-I, also considered a superfood um, and an antioxidant. So all kinds of healthy ingredients in this blender jar now. I will now turn around and blend all this and you will see this combination of colors turn magically green before your eyes. Again, I will carefully place the top on tight so I don't get green smoothie all over my clean kitchen. See you in a bit. It looks like all the greens have been pulverized. Look at that beautiful color.
Now, I want to emphasize that this is my recipe. You can use any kinds of fruit and vegetables and come up with your own recipe. You can use berries. Um, you can use uh, mango. Mango smoothie is very delicious. You could use coconut milk, which is very, very delicious. When I make a coconut smoothie milk with mango, I feel like I'm eating dessert. It's just yummy. But anyway, today we have our green smoothie and I'll pour it into this glass. This is health in a glass. I love the little hint of lemon and the little hint of ginger. Um, and here you go. Enjoy.